Now, I wanted to talk about this young man who was a tourist in Greece and he was killed by a group of psychotic troglodytes. Now, like I said, I don't have a problem with Caucasian people, but when you show who you are uh, and you do something as sick and disgusting as this, you are forever branded um, a disgusting racist and a troglodyte to me. You're uh, worse than an animal. This man, from what they say is, it was an argument over, see, I don't believe it. And it happened to be a um, troglodyte female. Now, she was probably flirting with him because he is very tall. He is a good looking young man. And the rest of those insecure troglodyte males did not like it. I wouldn't be surprised the ones who called themselves his friend. They did nothing. They were not his friends. Um, they did nothing to help him. They didn't try and pull the guys off. I'm not, these are his so-called friends. Oh, there was a picture of a black lady. People keep saying, you know, his, he just has pictures of white people. But anyway, I'll get into that later. Um, they were not his friends. And even if they jumped in, they looked like they would have got their ass beat anyway. They look weak. They just allowed this to happen. They could, they couldn't have done anything. They could have threw a chair, a bottle, did something, something to try and help their friend. And um, it's really unfortunate that this young man lost his life because he was able to travel, which he should be. Um, there's a lot of people who travel and they talk about their travels and they document their travels. Obviously, black people can't do that because of these crazy ass troglodytes. They're trying to blend in with the rest of society, even though they are um, racist, demonic snakes. And because a troglodyte female does not want you and she goes up to another man you have the right to kill this man why not drag the troglodyte female that obviously passed you up and decided to talk to the man that's what I don't understand with these troglodyte males if there is a troll that is a troglodyte on my channel could you please let me know why is it that you would kill the black man or you would harm the black guy because one of your females is in their face you know wanting some black dick why is it that you can't get your females under control if that's a thorn in your side that's something I would really like you to answer and I'm looking for a racist troglodyte troll to let me know what goes through their three brain cells that they would attack the black person. But they would not grab their women and check them and tell them what they should not be doing as far as interracial dating if you don't like that. And I think it's because, you know, they they already know. They try and check their women. Their women will go in on them. It's just, it's horrible that, you know, you can't go on vacation. You can't go anywhere and not have to watch your back. You know, in this climate, in this day and age, because we can face it. This system, this empire, everything that they have enjoyed for so long is over. They know it. Every, you know, anybody with an eye and ear to hear and an eye to see, you you see it. It's crumbling. Everything, every evil ass thing that these troglodytes have done for their privilege and power it is crumbling before their eyes and there's nothing they can do about it. And it's not black people who is the cause of this. But 
you know, they target us for a certain reason. Thing that I noticed about this story is it is exposing a few things um, because personally I have a biracial nephew and um, he has biracial sisters and brothers and they grow up in a predominantly white community. I look at some of the pictures they have and it, it's a lot of Caucasian people that they are around um, because they are again raised in a single parent home with a Caucasian mother and we don't know his situation we don't know why he was raised around I'm sure his parents you know if they're both black or whatever the setup is thought that they were moving to a place he would have opportunity he'd be educated and all that and he basically made friends where he was and I would never ever talk down about this young man because people have been calling him a coon people have been saying that he deserved to die people have been saying that um he died how he lived uh people have been saying you know since he wanted to be around these um uh Caucasians that you know that's what he gets and they have been saying a lot of horrific things and this is not coming from Caucasians or a troglodyte it's coming from the pro-black sector of YouTube or the black sector of YouTube I've noticed and that's the only reason I did this story um, there has been so many murders and killings and abuse happening to black people and I can't stomach every day it's something um, that a black person is dying a black person is being abused a black person is being railroaded and you know sometimes I have to take a break from that that is what bothers me you have people black people and these channels and platforms are strictly black because of what they talk about and they I mean they overuse the word coon I hate that word they overuse bedwinch they overuse all these stupid ass words and they try and act like they are so down for black people but you're using words that white people used against black people but you hate white people so much and that's why I don't label myself as pro-black. And somebody will probably say, and I've heard them say it, if you're not pro-black, you're anti-black, and that's bullshit, it doesn't apply to me. But it's, I've noticed there are a lot of fights among pro-blacks. There are arguments that are going on. There is rhetoric against the Bible and I am a Bible believer and I'm not into religion but it seems like the pro-black section to me is more infighting it's more attacking the Bible and it's more attacking other black people like you if somebody is a sellout or they're selling their people down the river which is a lot of things and levels to this we were taught that we were integrated we were taught that we were equal we were taught that everybody has a chance and you can't has equal chance you know and e equal rights and things like that and it's not like that and that's because it was a deception and a lot of people a lot of young people now are even deeper within the deception you are indoctrinated when you go to kindergarten you are taught European history. You are taught so many different things. And sometimes the teacher, like I was done in the class, you know, will say, this is not a part of the lesson, but I, but I want to let you know X, Y, and Z. And it had nothing to do with the lesson, but it was still indoctrination. And to set up here and say that, you know, living in this, system where we we're not in chains and all of that and we have been told that we're free even though we are not and we are monitored and we're redlined and everything else it takes a lot to understand the truth about this illusion
And not everybody understands the illusion. People are, you know, get bits and pieces of it at a at certain times and you can't lambast someone who doesn't see it because it's very, very cunning the way it's done. And plus you're indoctrinated at birth in this country. So, you know, people setting up here talking about this young man, I think it is as equally as disgusting as the troglodytes who killed him. Then to say, I, I saw someone um, do a video on it and someone underneath there, it was another black man said, I'm glad he died. Who says that about a woman's child? Who says that about black parents? children you are so for black family you're so for black love you you love black people but just because they are not on the same level as you you wish them dead and these people will be the same people that criticize the people in crystal and Karazin's video saying abort black children abort black babies kill black you know because it wasn't Crystal and herself. I looked for it. I didn't find it. But, you know, people who were in the chat room were saying that. And they got hotless mad. They call her a bedwinch. They, they call those women evil. But then the hypocrisy, and that's all I see. The hypocrisy of this is you wished a black child dead. You are happy that a young black man is dead. Dead. You're happy that a black couple's child is dead and it came out of your mouth. And I've heard so many people with bigger platforms, it came out of their mouth. How can you say I'm for the empowerment of my people and I want to let them know and I want to get information out there to them to let them know what's going on and to see the danger. But you're happy that a young man who was so young and he had more living to do and you never know where he would have been in the years to come because at his age I was in the we are world so I could I could see myself being that young person that everybody is laughing and saying I'm glad that black person is dead because they were privy to what's going on. I think that is absolutely disgusting and that says something about the character of the people who let it come out their mouth. It's disgusting for you to be happy to see a young black male dead instead of saying that, you know, I'm going to keep putting out the truth until I can reach that young black man. And whatever decision they make is the decision that they make. But you do not wish death upon your own people. And then say that you are someone who loves black people and are for the progression of black people or you know anything like that and these are people who are seen as champions to black people the pro-black sector the pan-africanist sector the conscious sector of black youtube saying that they are glad that this young man young man not knowing what he would have known in his late 20s in his early 30s in his 40s or 50s to say because of this situation that he was birthed into and grew up in which he has no um, hand in it the civil rights movement that integrated us in and in, in made us even more vulnerable to indoctrination to say that he deserves to lose his life because he wasn't aware of the dangers because he was not out of the he wasn't outside of the system looking at it for what it is people deserve to die for that
apparently. And that's what disgusts me more than anything. You know, this young man, even if he was dating a, a white female, even if he was hanging around white people, which he had no control in the environment he grew up in. And to this day, I personally do not have control that I work around nothing but Caucasians. I cannot control that um, more Caucasians than I would like are moving into my predominantly black neighborhood, prompting me and pushing me to move out because I do prefer to live around my own. This is the reason why I have stated it and I will continue to stay. I'm not a part of that sector. I, I'm not pro-black. I don't stand on that. There are some things, you know, I'm for the progression of us as a people. But um, I do have a heart because I understand there are different many different layers to this and I'm not going to say somebody outright deserves to die unless they personally harmed or killed another you know somebody else I mean we don't even say this about other black criminals who assault beat rape molest and kill other black people and I'm not talking about black on black crime i'm talking about the criminal elements that do target um black other black people i'm just saying the conversation went within us but to say that you are happy that a um young man like this who was um educated smart and he had his whole life ahead of him to learn and figure things out and to say that you're happy that he's dead at a certain age i think you are um the worst type of scum on the earth to say something like that what in the hell do you look like to even these um caucasians that you talk about to say this about one of your own a better thing would be going in on the woman, you know, who caused it or better yet, even better was the um, insecure troglodytes that went after him in the first place. Just because somebody doesn't want to talk to you does not mean that you have the right to um, kill someone. And basically by saying that I'm glad he's dead, you are 100% for Caucasians killing black people just as long as they are in a relationship you don't like or they are friends with someone you don't like or they don't believe the way you believe. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. But, um, and, and, and a lot of people will know the videos that I am talking about and the people who has said this stuff. Is, is really tr troubling and all you have to do is really look this young man's story up and you'll get videos and you'll see all of these so-called um, black people who are conscious, who love black people saying that they are glad that this young black man died because he dated a Caucasian female and because he hung around Caucasian uh, males even though he grew up within the indoctrinating system that all of us did but uh, let me know what you think about the situation what do you think about black people saying that it's okay for Caucasians to kill black people just as long as they are, you know, in an interracial relationship or they have friends that are not of the same race or they go travel where there are people that don't look like them. Even though a lot of us, you know, work and we may go to different places and we are not the majority there he, even here in this nation uh go ahead and leave that comment and i will see you in the next one